I'm getting into the healthy power of healing through juicing and herbs and reading about all the different things from the garden and what the health benefits are. It's pretty exciting. It's it's kind of a trending thing right now. You know, people are starting to realize the health benefits of some of this stuff. So I bought this juicer here today. Um, I made sure I got the best one at the store that I went to because I've done juicing before and I know that if you have a weak uh, weak motor, weak power in the motor. It's really frustrating. It doesn't do anything. Really, really can be frustrating. So, I got the most powerful one that they had. The best one that the store had on the shelf. And I want to show you how powerful this thing is. Watch what it does. You can see I did some, some juicing here, the first bit. I've got some, uh, there's different names for this. One name is a Mexican cucumber. Um, it's supposed to have some health benefits, and then I'm putting green apple in there. I'm gonna add a bunch of other stuff. I got, I got a whole, I got two shopping bags of stuff that we're juicing. So, one of the things I have is beets. Beets are really good. So, let me turn it on and show you how powerful this is. Watch what happens. It literally shredded that and juiced it quickly. Quickly, quickly. I'm gonna show you something I have here. This is uh, some of the Mexican lime that I have. Or not Mexican lime, Mexican cucumber, I'm sorry. I do have lemons and limes I'm gonna add also. Let's see what it'll do to this. This is a learning experience for me, so I turned it on and I was wondering what was going on and then I had to push the push the thing down on the top. I pushed this down. As soon as I pushed that down, it shredded that Mexican cucumber and, and look at all the juice. I got a bunch more stuff in the bag. I've got a beet here. I've got a it's a bundle of beets. I'm gonna take this out. Beets are supposed to be very good for you if you research into the beets. An interesting thing that I found is when growing the beets, which I've started to do, um, the leaves can be used in salad. And the beets themselves are good in the juicer. And then the roots from the beets. You save the roots, you cut the roots off, you cut them up, you dry them. I'm gonna research the best way to dry them. Maybe in a food dehydrator or an oven on low heat on a cookie sheet, or maybe sun dried, hanging on the sun. I'm gonna research the best way to dry the roots, but cut and sifted beet roots that are dried. I'm gonna store them in mason jars for long term. They are great for making tea. So I can get I can get uh, the beet goes in the juicer, the leaves go in salad, and the roots I save. We're making tea, and these they have a lot of nutrients in there. A lot of good, healthy stuff that you can research online. I was surprised and amazed how deep it goes. There's a lot of popular supplements that people buy, very expensive, and come to find out, the main re the main ingredient of some of them is just beets. It's just beet powder, beet powder, beet root powder. And that's why I got into them. I never was into beets before. Not until I read all the health benefits online. And I only got turned on to that because there's a local coffee shop that also does juicing. And they have a organic juice bar and it has a menu so I've been going there for a few years now probably several years and getting the one of the juice drinks in particular off the menu that basically 
they have different different juice drinks on the menu and then they have one that has pretty much everything in it everything they offer all in one so I tried that one it's very expensive and uh, the health benefits are great so I started researching it online researching about the ingredients and then realizing it's a lot cheaper to make it at home so I mean I've paid twenty seven dollars for one juice drink I've also got some celery I've got a bunch of stuff I want to add in here I was reading online South, uh, the juice from celery has health benefits also there's about half a beet we got a lot of juice out of that uh, little bit of Mexican cucumber I wonder if that beet is going to fill this glass oh, which is good news, I didn't want it to overflow so I've added some beet Beet has things in it that are supposed to be good for repairing damaged muscles and uh, perhaps even a testosterone booster. These are the things I came up with um, in my research that a lot of the some of the popular weightlifting supplements that um, the gym the gym rats, if you will, buy. It can be very expensive. Some of them, the main ingredient is beetroot powder. And so the beetroot powder has L-arginine, a precursor to nitric oxide. Um, it basically, the terminology they use is testosterone booster, repairs, rebuilds, damaged muscles, things like that. Now I got another bag of stuff over here that I can add. I've got a whole bunch more stuff over here. Okay, so I ended up with three drug-free bags of stuff to run through the juicer. Now, here I've got celery. I was reading online, as I said, that celery supposedly has some great stuff in it. Here's a lemon. I'm going to rinse off the lemon and wash it first because I'm going to put the rinds, the seeds, everything in there. It all has vitamins in it. It all has some kind of nutrient. Lemon juice, lemon zest, lemon seed. Let's get a picture here. cutting up a lemon because this lemon doesn't look too bad. And what I like about it is the scent. As soon as I started cutting it, you know I checked when I bought this lemon in the store, I smelled it. It didn't really, didn't really smell like lemon and that, you know, is not, not appealing to me. But when I cut it, I get the strong lemon scent that I was looking for, so that's good. That's a good sign, in my opinion. I want a I want a lemon that smells like a lemon. I'll put this lemon in there. Put the topper in there. Turn it on high. I that real quick. Alright. I got plenty more stuff here to put in the juicer. See what we got next. I've got a pineapple. Now the health, the health benefits of pineapple 
are really good. We read about it online. It's good for a lot of stuff. And it's high in vitamin C. I also got carrots. Beta carotene. Carrots are good for us. So, let's get this pineapple out here. Let's see if I can take a screenshot. There. Now I figured out how to take the thumbnail image while recording the video. I've seen other people do it in YouTube and now I see how to do it. They're like, hang on while I take a thumbnail image. And I'm like, what are they doing? They're just taking a screenshot. Now the interesting thing about a lot of this stuff, juicing, is that people will regrow from what they're using, like this top. Some people will plant that in the garden and grow more pineapples. I haven't done it yet. I've got limited space. But I do want to do it. So let's get a look at what's going on over here. Slicing up this pineapple. I'm trying not to waste too much of it. Trying to remember to cut away from myself, not towards myself. I don't want to cut myself. Get some of this stuff out of the way here. I have been planting a lot in my garden this year, which has culminated in the purchasing of this juicer. I also grow stuff uh, to make tea. I have many herbs. I have several mason jars, made a lot of them full dried herbs, roots, berries, tree bark for making tea and there's books out there that show you the recipes and remedies how to make a remedy for different things so there's one I'm looking at it's pretty expensive I'm gonna throw a link in the description but I think it's worth buying it's trending a lot of people are buying it Okay, I've got half of this pineapple sliced up. Pineapple is loaded with vitamin C. It's good for a lot of things that are common health issues. So, let's go ahead and turn the camera over here. Our cup's getting kind of full. I'm sure this pineapple probably has a lot of juice in it I do have a bigger pitcher I also have a mug I'm big on goblets and mugs collecting them so I don't want to overflow this thing I'm gonna pour some of this juice drink off and by pouring it is also going to help mix it more It does seem to be some pulp in there. I don't know if that's a bad thing. Some people like some pulp in their juice drinks. The pulp is supposed to have nutrients in it. Here we go. Pineapple. It's like a miracle medicine, isn't it? Looks like I didn't have the cup all the way under the spout that time, but I've corrected it. Getting a lot of juice out of this pineapple.
Now, a little bit more pineapple. Okay, I have a Mexican cucumber, lemon, pineapple, green apple, beet in there. Let's try carrot. Carrot juice is one of my favorite drinks. So, a lot of nutrients and vitamins in carrot juice. Let's see how the juicer handles the carrot. Now when I mentioned earlier that I like a, a powerful juicer, a powerful motor, it's because when it comes to juicing carrots, if you have a weak motor, uh, it doesn't really work well with juicing carrots. Maybe a little bit of carrots. Got a good little shot of carrot juice out of that. No need to put the whole bag in there because how many nutrients can my body absorb at one time? I've probably already got a lot going. So, here comes the limes. I've got to have some vitamin C. Got to do it. can get vitamin C from more than one source. Pineapple, the lemon, the lime. I've got some decent looking oranges over here too. So, because I want to put the whole of the fruit in there, I want to wash it first. I also want to maybe take a little green stem off the end. Maybe pluck it out of there. It probably doesn't matter. Let's turn the camera where we can see the action over here as it unfolds. So I've got healthy, good looking orange here. It's gonna be going in the juicer. I remember I read somewhere online a long time ago that someone recommended not mixing carrot juice and orange juice in the same drink. I don't remember what the reasons were, but I've been doing it for years because I've, you know, I've been patronizing, that's patronizing Zamba juice for years, and uh, they had an orange carrot banana drink that was my favorite, and that's exactly what was in it, orange carrot banana. All right, this lime is trying to get away from me, and I don't want it on the floor, so I'm just going to cut it into four pieces and call it good. Now, let's take the screenshot. Okay, now let's focus back on the juicer and see what we get. Once again, I don't need to. I don't need to drain it. Okay. Now I got orange. I got lime, more orange, more lime. Orange and limes both have vitamin C, different amounts of it. So I like to mix it up a bit. Get them both in there with some lemons. Why not? This thing's got some power, and the whole machine started moving. And I started spilling my drink. We don't want that. Okay, I think I have a lot of vitamin C in this drink. Let's see what else we've got. I 
I didn't run the celery in it just yet. So I think that's going to be next. It's going to be interesting to taste this drink and see what kind of effects it has because, you know, from what I read online, some of these ingredients here, these are like optimal ingredients. These have health benefits and qualities and stuff. So let's just get back on the action over here again. I've just ripped off a piece of this celery here. And I'm going to wash it, rinse it, trim it up with a knife. Celery is cheap, but it's the liquid, it's the water that's in the celery. It's the juice that's in it that's supposed to have really good health benefits. So, instead of writing a book about all the health benefits, um, there's already a professional book written. It's very popular, it's trending, and I'm going to throw that link down in the description below this video. All kind of, it lists all kind of things, um, it claims that these things can be cured, and lists recipes, ingredients and recipes. A lot of people are really going on and on about the book, it's actually trending on a lot of social media platforms, especially TikTok. Look at how healthy that looks. Look at all the colors. Does that not look healthy? I think it looks healthy. I got a lot of good stuff in here. Interesting, I can smell the celery juice that's sent to it. So, the ingredients I bought this time, it looks like I've added a little bit of each to the drink. And so, see if I can mix it up a little bit better. Perhaps I need a bigger picture so that it will all fit in one picture. And next is actually my favorite juicing picture. Look at the top, it's got a manual juicer on this large picture. I don't know if these are still in production. This one was a lucky find for me. And when I saw it, I knew that I had to have it. So what I'm gonna do is mix these ingredients by pouring them pour that one and I'll pour this other one I'm gonna pour it in there and let the stuff mix Good thing I've got a cutting board and a tiled counter next to the sink because this this has been a bit messy for the first time using this juicer. Look at those colors. The beets really bring out the colors, but then the pineapple and the lemon and lime and orange and apple juice, cucumber juice, celery juice, all these things really, really add to it. So that's what I've got. That's what I've got, and uh, let me find a glass. I like my goblets. I'll try this one. And I'll pour some in there, mixing it further, mixing it by pouring. This is a good amount of juice that I've got here. If I would have went to the uh, local organic juice bar to buy something like this it would be very expensive because there they charge me about $27 for a 32 ounce glass I think I've got more than 32 ounces here 
and over there you're limited to what ingredients they want to add here I can add whatever I want so let's get a look at drinking gifts shall we You know, for a healthy drink, I thought it was going to taste terrible. I thought it was going to be like, oh, yuck, I don't want to drink it. But the flavor in this is so good. It's really good. The pineapple, the lemon, the lime, the orange, it all blends together. It makes a delicious flavor that is unique. It's not just one flavor. Unlike some other drinks, where people make sweet tea or coffee, and they usually add stuff to it, right? I don't need to put anything in this. It's got everything, everything good and healthy. The flavor is great. I don't have to put anything to make it taste good because this is awesome. This is awesome. I think this should have a umbrella in it, and I feel like I should be sitting under a palm tree on an island somewhere with a nice cool breeze. This is a great recipe. I just made this recipe up. You see that I've made a recipe here. You could write it down and copy it. I've got Mexican cucumber, celery, carrot, green apple, lemon, lime, orange, beet, pineapple. That's it. And it's really, really good. I didn't need a recipe book for this. Mm -mm. But the book I'm going to include in the link in the description, it lists various ailments and then it lists remedies with recipes, with ingredients, like a how to herbal healing handbook. And people swear by it. It's trending, it's a very popular book. If this didn't taste good, would I still be drinking it? Mm. I've never been into beets. Never. Just the look of it and the sound of it is like, no way. Until I found out the health benefits of it, what kind of nutrients are in it, what kind of things it can do for me. And then, mixing it with all these other ingredients, I've got a great tasting healthy drink. So, as time goes on, I want to see the effects that this has on me. Because you know it's going to do something. All this healthiness. I've been having skin issues. Um, weight loss issues. And some of these things are supposed to help in those areas. So, I want to see how it affects my immune system. My metabolism my skin. They say you can see your health in your skin and I've been having like a breakout here of stuff for a long time. It looks like maybe um, rosacea with acne, psoriasis type stuff mingled and um, sometimes it starts to clear up and then it comes back. Sometimes it's worse and I want to see how these nutrients affect that because they say you see you can see your health in your face and your skin on your face I bet you this is going to be even better cold I'm going to finish this glass and I'm going to put the pitcher in the refrigerator because I want to drink it mm. I've been wanting to get into eating pineapples for a while, but they're boring. So, once in a while I'll buy one and I'll cut it up and freeze the chunks in plastic bags. And then I'll get my blender out and make a blender smoothie. And I'll do a big mix of different frozen stuff in there. Blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, pineapples, mangoes, dragon fruit, cherries, strawberries, banana, all kinds of different things. Mmm. 
Okay. That glass is empty. Now, as I said, I know we can only absorb a certain amount of nutrients at a time, so there's no point in overdoing it. I know I just had a healthy dose of plenty of good stuff. So, that remaining pitcher is going in the refrigerator. Get it nice and chilled and have some in the morning for breakfast. And then this stuff here, I've got to package it up. Package it up. Because I've got plenty enough here for another picture. So, I'm also going to throw a link to this juicer in the description. That and a book. A really good book. Because at this point in my life, I'm, I'm ready to get back into health. It's time to get back to health. And that's where I'm at. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for updates. Have a nice day.